Oh, no, that's, that's probably, all my energy. That's all I had. That was probably the, the worst one you've done. That's the worst one? I think that was the best one. No, that seemed more... Squ- like, uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty oh, good. Don't. We've got uh, one of our longest <laughs> uh, fans uh, giving me the green light, so I'm going to take it, mate. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to the Vibe Union podcast. Hello. Uh, the only podcast that says Hi. drop it. Drop it. How are you? <laughs> But that's literally how you treat me, so... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, get that out of your mouth, put it down. No, not Jason, no. We are joined today uh, by Jack Hello. of uh, Final Hi. Cut um, Productions. Final Cut Videography, yes. I'm very sorry that I got it's that all wrong. Good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Links below! Um, if you remember. <laughs> I won't remember. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. How are you guys? Pretty good. Good. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Um, Super low energy today. That's all good? Wouldn't notice. Because of that intro. <sighs> no. Um, no. No, I'm actually quite manic, so it's going to be a, a fun episode. But that's usually how the, the best episodes turn out, where you and I are... Uh, you got to have fun. Oh, well, manic fun. I don't know <laughs> if we have fun on this podcast. <laughs> or doing anything that we do. Um, JC, <laughs> what kick us off, baby? <laughs> I was trying to get in there. Um, before we get started, I just want to acknowledge the custodians of the land, uh, the Wondry Warrior Wrong people, the Call of the Nation. Um, you know, as I say in every podcast... We are, we are here on stolen land, on land where treaties have never been signed, uh, sovereignty has never been ceded. Australia is the only country in the Commonwealth that hasn't signed a treaty with their Indigenous population, and their First Nations people. Um, you know, we're very lucky to come here every two weeks, because uh, obviously we do this before poetry. And so, yeah, we're very lucky to come here and um, uh, talk talk our experiences and stories and at poetry listen to experiences and stories when so many First Nations people um, throughout history and even up until this day have had their stories, words and experiences um, ignored um, and even up until this day. And also I just want to acknowledge the Palawa people of Luchawida, which is the First Nations people of Tasmania where I unfortunately grew up. It's a beautiful land. I won't hear another bad word about it. Uh, how, how long have you spent there? Uh, I don't think I've been to Tassie. Oh, really? What do you mean you don't think? You either know you don't. No, I've been around all over Australia as a small wee boy. Um, oh, okay. I've never been to Tassie, yeah. full disclosure. <laughs> I've heard it's I've heard I, think, uh, I was going to say of, I've heard it's One nice. out of four <laughs> podcasts yeah. after I do the acknowledgement, yeah, we talk about Tassie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's been, um, it's it's, been about it's, four. It's, it's, as I said, every time we talk about this, it's a very nice place if you if you know you can leave. That's my thing. So. It's my favourite state. Um, Jack, uh, you're a working videographer. I sure am, yes. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Um, first of all, how's that going? Uh, very well, very well. <laughs> very happy. Um, yeah, yeah I, I enjoy what I do, so it's good fun and, yeah, en- enjoying it, I guess. Um, just yourself on the team? At the moment, yes, I am trying to expand. Does I one suppose, person make a team? But what do you the, think? The, the silent eye in team. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, does one person make a team? Depends on how well, how if, much indi- ADHD like, you've what got today. In, individual like the individual sports of tennis players and golf. Are they? Is that person considered a team? It depends what sport, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. This is no. It is, no, <laughs> it is not a team. It is is absolutely not a team. Just the word does the word means multiple people. Does it? Yes. I was just correcting That's the myself. Etymology of that of the word. How long have you been doing that? <laughs> <laughs> what video? Yeah, yeah. Um, golf. No. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> Quite a while, actually. Because for me, it actually started as a, a passion thing first, yep. like through skateboarding, skateboarding culture, and that's how I got into yeah. videography. That makes sense. Yep. And then it's transitioned a lot now into the professional world, I yep. suppose, as well. Yeah. So in terms of years, honestly, like 13 years. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I know for some people, 13 might be maybe an unlucky number. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> but for me, it, it, it's working out all right, so... It's like only for one year, though. Look so. at the positives. Yeah. <laughs> the 13th <laughs> year isn't over yet, so yeah. it's... No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We're still in the middle. Because <laughs> so. uh, this is actually how we met you, because you filmed uh, a, yes, correct, um, yeah. a a cypher, which oh, is probably right. the first that's time right, yeah. either of us publicly rapped. No, I would have publicly I'm rapped uh, at open mics prior to that. That was the first time I ever, ever. Yeah. Ever. Just um, in general. In fact, you can still catch it on this channel. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't... Cypher... Rye looks very different. Yeah. yeah. I slipped back hair. And I'm a wearing a beanie. Yeah. Apart from that, you look the same. <laughs> yeah. You sound the same. The beard's same. a bit shorter back then. We did better better a, rapper now, though. Um, we did it. Where? At a Falaf? 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 Oh, I can't remember what that place is called. Is it in North? Brunswick. 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 Vegan Brunswick. falafel place on Sydney Road. On Sydney Road. Look at yeah. me now in places yeah. and things. Um, can't remember. 
It's been nice. Nice yeah. place. That was a great time. That was like days before we went back into lockdown. 2020. Oh, uh, yes. It was around that time. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was in the, the middle of stuff. Yeah, we had. Yeah, it was in between, between lockdowns. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, you and I, we did a s- with um, MASH. MASH. MQ. Mr. Mashud, yes. Mr. Mashud. And there was uh, Milky Bar Kid was there as well. Yes, yeah. Milky Bar Kid, Mr. Try Dave Dilley. The, yes. Trying to remember the name of the other guy on it. Anyway. Axel. Look, Axel. Axel was on it as well. I've, I've actually gone yeah. back and listened to that sci-fi I've, a couple of times yeah, over so. like the last, I guess it was like three years ago now, maybe four years ago. Three, it must be four years ago. Because well, it's 2021, it's 2024. Three years. Maths. <coughs> yeah, 2021, I believe. Yeah, yeah roughly. Um, yeah, yeah. Fascinating uh, watch to go back and good to see, good to see improvement. <laughs> <laughs> good to see some for improvement. Sure. <laughs> yeah. How, how is it for you guys watching back? That like as artists yourselves, mm. can I ask how, how what's it like re rewatching say the footage and? Well, first of all, I marvel at the the, the footage itself. It was <laughs> that's very, true. very well. I find that very actually, awesome. no, no, no. The quality I remember, is very distracting. I just remember now <laughs> from the I kept fucking up because I had because I didn't. I but there were you asked me to do a sci-fi mm-hmm. or vibe as a whole, and I'm like I've never I've never heard that word before. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then I was like. Also, what's a cipher? Yeah. And then they're like, oh, it's a freeze. I'm like, ah. And so I had my notes down there. Um, yep. Oh, just, you know, um, tell me. I, I, I thought the, the same made. thing. And I then, genuinely thought the same thing. Mm, because yep. I remember, I think it was either you guys directly or Mashud reached mm. out to me. Yep. And he said, oh, can you come along and film the cipher? I'm like, yeah, sure. But what's a cipher? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's so a valid I didn't even question. Know at the time. I, th- I mean, I'm not going to. Uh, no, I am. I'm, I'm, I was going to say I'm not going to. I'm not going to break down um, kind of how this word has evolved. But I am about to break down how this word has evolved you, because, like, uh-huh. when I think of cipher, when you if you if you start by like watching, like uh, like hip hop in the '90s and stuff like that, mm-hmm. it was mm-hmm. much more like out in a yard or out in the street, yeah. crowded around. Someone's beatboxing yes, and people yeah. are just freestyling. Yeah. yeah. Um, whereas, and that's what I kind of thought of. And then mm. it kind of was made clear. Oh, no, no, you write. You write your verse and I you see. practice your verse and you come down and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, because right, we've got to keep in the beat. <coughs> yeah, weeks in advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so even in that sense of like, um, it's sort of taking the, you know, uh, lifting the veil, but mm-hmm. um, <laughs> it's, it's multiple takes as well. Like we did three oh, or four of takes of oh, each. I, I was... I did a lot of, t- I remember, because yeah. then I was just like, and then I was like, oh no, we could just add, like, there was, because I remember, I can see specifically one point where th- it cut away just where I kept fucking up my lyrics. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, and then yeah. I'm still rapping, and then I'm like, I like, come back, and I'm like, that's right, yeah. the power of editing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's quite a tall order to ask, I think, people who have just been rapping for maybe a year or so to then do a. Uh, a, a, a oh, was it even a year? For a, well, yeah, oh, no, for you no, was did, less. That was my first public appearance yeah. rapping mm. um, and that's scary to do like yeah. to go and on was, stage yeah. and, and to nail to nail the verse art. in one in yeah. one go um oh, yeah tough, and then i was yeah. like i don't um hmm. i completely forgot what i was gonna say um yeah. to there's something about once the record uh, once the cameras are on like there you're going to fuck it up there's yes. uh, even it's in front inevitable. of a crowd <laughs> I, I can i can do it yeah. but in front of a camera so i'm the opposite yeah. i forgot the camera was there Right. Completely forgot the camera was there, but I'm just That's like, I'm, yeah. I'm in my, um, I'm in my head because I'm like, well, uh, I knew we want to get, I, I knew we wanted to get footage of it, mm-hmm. but I didn't acknowledge the camera was there, which is a weird. But I'm like, okay, we want to do this, so I'm like, um, like same as if I'm recording anything, I want to get done first go. Yeah. But I'm like, it's nearly impossible to do it. Well, some people can, um, <laughs> but you know, like, like you know, you don't want to be perfect straight away. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, well, then I'm, we still have another cipher to do with other people, and I'm, and I'm taking too much time, and all these people. Mm-hmm. Ryan, he mm-hmm. didn't. Ryan, he screwed up twice. Mashed, he screwed up once or twice, and here's me just like got my notes down there. Try stuff. not to just go like stare like, like this and actually perform. Yeah, and um, yeah, you, it was sort of. Jason, do you think it makes it easier for you to get into that sort of creative zone if you, if you didn't have the knowledge of the camera being there? I guess because you're you're kind of in your element. You're not thinking about yeah, oh, there's a camera probably. there. It, does that help you to? Yeah, I think that's it? that's. Um, I think one, some of my best performances are when um, when I'm not aware that I'm actually doing something. Yes, in yeah, a way, yeah, you black out. Um, basically, mm, um, mm. so when I did my EP, I don't really remember it. Yeah, mm. I don't remember being on stage. Yeah, I remember Dilly with an umbrella. It's that flow stage. It's, it's, it's just about yeah, getting yeah, to the yeah, flow yeah, stage. Yeah, it's just about, that's, yeah. yeah that's but um, that can be very difficult, especially if you're involved with the production side of things at all, <laughs> which. Um, we just had tones uh, recorded, um, basically our version of Tiny Desk, yep. or inspired by Tiny Desk the other day, 
And um, Excuse me. Yep. Really glad I jumped up because we had someone pull out, and I so I did a set. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, kind of annoying because like there was technical difficulties. Uh, yes. Yeah. Just as I was going on, like oh, I, no. so I was like problem solving and then got on stage. So the uh, first song stressful yeah. was a little bit like a little bit hard to snap into it. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, that's yeah. quite yeah. interesting because I was I'm trying like because I was MC I, I I did MC it. Yeah. And um, they're try- <laughs> and I could see on Rice's face like he was really annoyed, but I'm also just kind of like. Is there a pos- I'm like I'm just trying to be like, ha- ha- hello. Is there a is there an ET? Like, is it? Yeah. Do we? Do you know what's that? Like, is yeah. there a tire? What do I tell? Like, I'm like, but also I don't want to be like, hello. What? Do, ha- how long until we go? You go yeah. on because I know you're doing stuff. I'm mm. just like, hello. I was asked yeah. once and yeah. I'm like, okay. I cool. think you need a certain like finesse. Yeah, I was just like, I, I, yeah. I think I was just like, everything. All, like, y- y- can mm. you fix it? <laughs> um, if I knew what the problem was, I would be able to give you an yeah. ETA. I didn't no, know that, what the no, problem was. No, that's why I didn't ask for specific time. I was like, all yeah. good. And all I just got, I think your response was, fucking buttons. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, obviously. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and, I was like, and I was like, that. okay, I will, I will come back in five or ten. Yeah. And I'll ask again because yeah. this has just happened. Because oh. yeah. I got the response. I didn't even yeah. get an answer. I just got fucking buttons. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> well, it was stressing me the fuck out, taking shit onto oh. stage, like laptops and, and buttons. It was, it, a, it was a lot of, <laughs> so it, was, yeah. it was more than I was expecting. You've seen me before. Yeah, but like so I was in I my bring, head, you like you went on with um, Dom Brinkley, yeah. and in my head, I'm the I was Dongle like, King and the Button Boy. Uh, you know this? I'm the Button What? Button, button Boy. boy. Uh, oh boy! Uh, I just in <laughs> my head, babe. I just was like, yeah, in my head, I was like, okay, you're gonna have Dom there on guitar and you there. Yeah, and I forget that. Yeah, you just someone's gonna be the DJ you're just, as you're well. Just a, I'm you're gonna just do a little nerd that wants all your all your buttons and chords and laptops and stuff. And it's so many points of failure. So many points of failure. But yet you keep which doing it. Which is um, something that has uh, has scared me away from getting into the world of video. But this is mm-hmm. your world. Sure. There's is, many points yes. of failure in the world of video. <laughs> Segway king. <laughs> Segway king to that. Uh, thank you so Very much. Very good segue. Thank you. Um, there is batteries that are going to be drained way faster oh, than you expect. Yes, exactly. There are, you forgot the r- lens that you need for this particular yep. situation. Mm-hmm. Um, Correct. You're in now the kind of the world of professional well yeah this is your job yeah now, right yeah, this has been your job yeah. for a little while mm-hmm. um but you came from a place of doing it as a uh, as a passion project mm-hmm. coming from skateboarding and stuff like that yep where is how do you have a kind of a, a mental game you have to play with yourself snapping in and out of those two modes of the passionate filmmaker mm-hmm. and the problem solving just technical filmmaker that's doing the job yes and honestly all the time <laughs> as well um yeah, it's it's a lot to get into, I suppose, but it is a a, a interesting thing to to navigate, mm-hmm. I suppose, because for me it's like there's the filmmaker side of me, which like I like through skateboarding and through I guess my life experience and my worldview, mm-hmm. I see a lot of things when I'm skateboarding, bits yeah. and pieces, and I think, oh, that would make a great film idea. That would make a great mm-hmm. film idea. This, 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 and I might write a note of it on my phone. And then I think, oh, I'll revisit this later when I've got more time, when I've yep. got more time. Because I do get caught up in the, the technical stuff all the time. Yep. Like I'll be on Premiere Pro, like video editing mm-hmm. software, all the time just going, what the fuck? Like why isn't yeah. this working? Yeah. <laughs> going on YouTube, trying to go back and forth, back and forth, just troubleshooting, troubleshooting. And then, oh, it was this. And, and then you, you just find one tiny little tool. I find tool. The videos, yeah. video software in particular is, uh, I, my um, experience with it is much is very limited. Mm-hmm. Um, but coming from audio software, yes, audio software for the most part does this one thing. Pretty much. Does audio. Yeah. And it's pretty straightforward. Also modeled on lots of classic hardware. Mm-hmm. Whereas uh, audio software is doing so many different things all at the same time. It's a big package. In fact, it is also the audio software. Like mm-hmm. I work in DaVinci yep. and it has all the, most of the capabilities of Ableton. Mm-hmm. It is just one small part of the program. Plus it has everything else on top of it. Yeah. And it's a nightmare because there's all these things that are interacting oh, with each other. For, for sure, yeah. So, sorry, I'm trying to understand. Is there a question? No there, question. Or? Just, just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, just, 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 just a gripe with, just a gripe oh, with video I, I can relate to what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Sorry. Cause I, no, I appreciate Ryan getting called out. Yeah. Mm, no, no, I'm not trying to call him out at all. Call me I, out, I'm, No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even trying to. I'm just trying, trying to understand. <laughs> this comes actually. <laughs> yeah. trying I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, if you, if it, I've got a question, you'll know it. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll the, ask you a fucking question. Because <laughs> it's, the, it's the same. Um, yeah, like it, I, I know exactly what you mean. Because oh. with, with the technical side, 
and with video, for example, mm. you do have the vision, which yeah. is like the actual video footage or yeah. photos or graphics or animations or all of that mm -hmm. assets. And then you have the audio as well, which is the music, sound effects, sound design, all of that. And then it's kind of blended together through the editing. Yeah. So it, it's not like a lot of people, as you said, maybe they, they'll look at a video online or, or mm -hmm. wherever and they'll go, oh, oh, that's easy. I could do that on my phone. Yeah. And you're like, well, yes, you can. Tears. But there's a lot more. <laughs> yeah, tears. Yeah. So there's a lot more to it than just what meets the eye yeah. typically. Yeah. I mean, I do what? I edit the reels for... I know it's not, nowhere near the same. No. But yeah, I did, but like, the yeah, process edit, is the same. Edit, yeah. Editing the reels sometimes, I just like one little thing and I was just like, no, I'm done. No, I, I spent... Put it down, yeah. I'm like, no, I was, I was like, because they're not like, I just want like the same transition for everything and I'm like, save it and I miss one trend. I'm like, no, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like it's not that hard. Like people do so much more. To be fair though, uh, Editing in, I, and I, I refuse. I, I cannot. I, I, I almost admire content creators who do everything on mm. their phone. They film and yeah, do yeah. record everything on their phone, and then edit in the TikTok or the Reels mm. editor. It once, is so once janky. You get, once on you get the hang too. of it, like yeah. I, I, I do it yeah, all on my phone, and then just upload it to yeah. to mm. TikTok because I'm like, Ugh, I don't yeah. want to deal with that. And because I know, yeah, I like just use very basic and stuff. But yeah, the TikTok one, uh, I think what, yeah, one, one instant, like anything. Once you get the hang of it, it's yeah. actually. Well, I've done a little bit on it, mm. but like it's not yeah. too bad. And simple is best as well, because yeah. even me in the professional world, like a lot of people will ask me for like the fanciest of fancy mm -hmm. things, and I'll just say no. Like, let's just keep it simple. Yeah, we'll do this, 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 and that works. Yeah, like, you don't need to overcomplicate things for it to be effective either. Yeah. Like that's at least my philosophy with yeah. it. So, but I think I don't yeah. know if someone someone wants a video or something, and then like, oh, I can just get all the bells and whistles. You're like, well, mm. if I'm paying for something, you're like, no, nah, give me everything. Just get just, yeah. just chuck <laughs> everything out, and then let's just. Like some people it. will request that as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it, it it depends on what they want and also I guess what they need like yeah. in a professional capacity mm. I guess that's, that's where you yeah. come in and be like um, yeah because sometimes I'll be like not. sure we'll, we'll do this because that's what they want but then other times it's like no that's way too over top like we don't need those star wipe transitions or, yeah, you know, like yeah, the old yeah. Windows no movie star maker wipes, stuff no. but I think that's like in any professional um, profession um, mm -hmm. is it's <laughs> like if you had a producer or a, like a tattoo artist or yeah. a videographer or anything and, then the, and if they're not willing to Maybe it's like maybe not do this. Maybe how about mm. sort of give alternatives or something. I think to me personally, that's a professional. That's someone I'd rather work with, and because mm. they're not telling you what to do, but like at least saying sort of guiding maybe, you. We can process. do this. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a guide. Like maybe yeah. we can do this. We can give you all the star wipes you want, mm. but maybe just a maybe it's not necessary. Maybe it's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, for, exactly. for this for this funeral. Um, <laughs> 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 but. Uh, I just think, anyway, yeah, uh, good. But you know, yeah, I think uh, I, I like, want a Star Wars cross wipe uh, <laughs> Star Wars, <laughs> yeah. for my, uh, I don't know, my mum crying and then me in the casket, Star Wars cross wipe. No, I, I, want the, I want the, the, the credits going, yeah, yeah. I, want the, I want the initial <laughs> credits and usually they, um, and then it usually fades into the first scene. It That's does, what one of that yeah, fades yeah. into the, to a close up oh, of someone like, crying. They're yeah. good with their wipe transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we have also, <laughs> we're going to have, um, I'm a big Star have Wars two fan, spaceships so. uh, fighting and then pans down, yeah. down onto the planet, and there yeah. I am, dead. And my mum's crying. And Don't say that with a smile. You know, <laughs> 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 she doesn't watch this podcast. <laughs> no one does. And I'm going to outlive everyone. So it's fine. It's all hypothetical. So yeah, that was my point. I think I, fin <laughs> I, think I finished it. I think so much of the. Uh, like, uh, I haven't done a lot of um, uh, professional um, like hired jobs, mm -hmm. but I found even just working with musicians, yeah. so much of the work as a producer or yeah, someone who's who, who's getting the who's actually putting the project together, yeah. So much of it is also learning what the fuck they're talking about, understanding yes. yeah, their exactly. version of the lingo, translating it into your version and then mm. translating it back in yep. a way that kind of circumnavigates them around. They're like, yes, we can do that, but that's going to take... Yes, so you're 100% right. Yeah, that's exactly what it is <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, no. yeah it, 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 it is a patient process, I suppose, too. Mm. So No, it's not. I think well, it can I, be. I mean, I hear most jobs. I'm like, I'm not cut out for that. Yeah, well, that's fair. <laughs> not everyone that's is. Why I, that's why I make the big bucks on poetry. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
So, yeah. yeah, well, you've got to do what's right for yourself and what's what suits you. That's, that's why, yeah, why being is such a raging success monetarily. Exactly. Um, <laughs> how do you find, uh, where are you sitting at the moment in terms mm-hmm. of like, of finding your motivation for yeah. your create for your, uh, again, your passion projects, mm-hmm. for your creative projects mm-hmm. versus, because you're doing corporate work, right? Yeah. You're, you're yeah. doing corporate films and stuff like that. Pretty much, yeah. I imagine uh, maybe a little bit soul sucking at times. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so mm. I guess, yeah, I find it, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a hard one for me to explain, but it, it's an interesting mix of, um, because I, d- I do really enjoy the corporate work mm-hmm. as well. Like aside from the paycheck, I just yeah. do really genuinely enjoy it. Yeah. I just love the craft of making videos. Great. Um, but there is, as you said, like there is a few soul sucking projects <laughs> as well. Like there is with every- <laughs> everything yeah, yeah, yeah. in life in a way. Um, like there's some clients I've worked with in the past that I'm not going to name at the moment. But of course not. <laughs> but some Link of them in description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So like some of them, as you, as you say, like it's like you said before about circumnavigating technical problems. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll say something one way in a, say from a videographer to another videographer, yeah. they might interpret it one way then they like, cause we will be collaborating on say a bigger project. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. there's certain almost technical miscommunications, mm-hmm. I suppose that yep. then you have to try and work out how to work together to work for the benefit of the client as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess even within that, it's a bit of a technical answer. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's it's an interesting thing because I, I used to do a lot of work just by myself, mm-hmm. like I would say as like a solo videographer. Yeah. And, you know, I would be setting up all the cameras, the lights, sound, doing it all myself, as well as the interviewing the client, as well as everything, right? Right, right, right. right and then right. when I'm sitting there i'm mm-hmm. like talking to them interviewing and then i would go oh is the camera still recording oh yeah yeah oh thank god totally. it's still recording oh is the lighting okay oh, okay the lighting's okay and then after a while you realize like wait my brain is switching from the creative of like oh the lights and the the color and this and this yeah to <laughs> wait what did he say again or she say again 100 percent. what they say again yeah and then i would be oh and then it wouldn't be until i brought it into the editing room then you can re-watch it and i'll go Oh, thank goodness we captured this, 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 this. Cut away from the moment when you're looking at me. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, things like that. Um, so I suppose for me mm. at the moment, like this year in 2024, because I am trying to build beyond myself, mm-hmm. like with hiring others and all of yeah. that as well, it helps free up my, I guess, my mindset so mm-hmm. I can just focus on, hey, how are you guys going, talking to you guys? And then I could have another videographer alongside me who's... Yeah filming the actual content and they're focusing on all the creative and I'm almost more like a, I guess a journalist type or a, or a interviewer type because it's hard to separate those two. Totally. Especially once you've been doing it for a long time Mm. and you know that Mm. world. For Um, sure. I was thinking about this yesterday because, um, uh, (laughs) <laughs> I watch a lot of Adam Savage uh, from mm. Mythbus- of Mythbusters fame on YouTube. And oh, he's he does great. Lot of, he does like live streams stuff, yeah. and um, stuff like that. And uh, he got asked the question about um, how do you uh, how do you deal with the stress, or how do you do you do you actually manage to escape the stress of being a producer and being mm. like a lead of a of a production team um, mm. at any point, or like during that project? Is that just is that just life? And his answer was like, yeah, that's that is actually your job is to be thinking about literally everything and stressing about everything. <coughs> Pretty much. And it's not <laughs> like you need to calm down. The yeah. project happens because you haven't calmed down. And that resonated with me yeah. so <laughs> much because that's, that's very true. That's that is just, me yeah. in a nutshell is I mm. know enough to be able to do everything that yeah. Vibe Union does. Uh, and I think <laughs> and about every single part. Well, you kind of have part. to know everything because <laughs> yeah. uh, I know little like – you. Yes, but I'm getting better at delegating little, that's what I was about little, to say, little busy work yeah. tasks. But yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, little bits. But then when it comes to like you're looking for a chord earlier mm-hmm. and then I was looking for it as well and then I just stood there I was like, I don't know what I'm – I have no idea what yeah. myself. Like, yeah. I'm just going to yeah. go back over here. It, let, let Ryan look. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm looking for this specific chord. I'm like, cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then I'm like, all these chords look the same to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just going to go back over here and oh. just look pretty or whatever. And um, <laughs> Ryan can just uh, – do you have to switch out of that mindset? And maybe it doesn't, maybe you don't have to. I, th- I think there maybe might be okay. switching. Sorry, I'm just before. Go. Just, speak for me. If yeah, you, okay, if you cool. Wish, um, <laughs> no, no, I'm going to speak at you. Uh, okay, great. No, I think 
yeah, it's, it's good to think about everything. But yeah, having that mindset of just being like, I'm going to delegate sound or whatever, but also yeah. I'm still, I'm still li- obviously you can still listen to it and still have the, okay, I'm over here doing this, but I'm still, okay, there's a bit of a crack or something or whatever. Yeah. I might just go over there and be like, hey, heard this, and then that's your, and then go do something else. Um, I mean, it's a bit more harder with, with video because it's sort of, you don't see it till well, afterwards. It's it's mm-hmm. similar ish, I think. Like with with Rai would relate to this is like you still you want to understand everything mm. and still kind of oversee it and manage it. Yeah. But I like because I think of it similar in the way of like events as well. Because mm-hmm. I used to film a lot of events. I've filmed weddings yeah. and corporate mm-hmm. events, just a lot of different events, and it's the same sort of principles. Like you would have your, I guess you would have your event manager. You mm-hmm. would have maybe a marketing person. You would have an MC. Yeah. Like. Like at professional events, they have a MC as well. Yeah. Like they have a hey everybody here, welcome to our sponsors, welcome to this, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. this, this, and it's the same sort of thing where they have to know almost all the pieces of the puzzle to what's happening at the mm-hmm, event, mm-hmm. but they're not always the one to oh we've got to fix this and fix this and fix this and fix this and fix this because then they just run off their feet. Yeah. So that's kind of how I look at it mm-hmm. as well. I guess from a video perspective, like someone said to me, um. Years ago, like even before I was doing it, I guess professionally, because I studied at uni as well, and yep. film and TV has always just been a big part of my life. Yeah. Um, I asked them, I said, how do you ensure that everyone's on the same page to achieve, say, a certain outcome for a video project? Yeah. Like, because everyone's got their own field of experience, everyone's mm-hmm. got their own, like, even within video, you have your sound techs, you have your camera techs, you have yep. your directors, you have your writers, you have mm-hmm. your actors, you have your makeup artists. Like, you yep. have so many pieces of the puzzle yep. <laughs> that it's just crazy to Puppeteers. Manage. Puppeteers, you know, <laughs> all, all of the above. So, <laughs> um, essentially, you like what what this person told me. Unfortunately, I can't remember their name, but um, they basically they used the metaphor which stuck with me was um, as long as everyone's kind of going in the right direction, almost like a um, uh-huh. like driving down a highway, right? Mm-hmm. You say you've got four or five lanes in the highway. As long yeah. as everyone's going in the right direction, they might be in their separate lanes but yeah, as long as they're yeah. all going in the right direction towards the That's same yeah. destination yeah then the project like it's not guaranteed but it should be more of a success mm-hmm. it's more of a chance of it more yeah. of a chance yeah. exactly yeah um, I like that and I definitely think that's where yeah. you find uh, maybe not people going in the opposite direction, mm. but but that we yeah that would create friction as, as you could imagine. Opposite well. direction, yeah. absolutely. Opposite yeah. direction, like <laughs> get get out of get out of the way. Um, sure. But then you also find people who are just either driving at half speed or just stopped twiddling their thumbs. And I'm thinking mm. of people who are that's true as really well, like yeah. uh, esoteric in the way they approach a project, right? Mm. <clears throat> We're kind of talking about basically the all vibes people mm, in mm. a in a project, which which works, which ha- which is nice in a in a great for a planning stage. Love a planning stage with some with some uh, yeah, all vibes people. It, 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 serves, <laughs> it serves a purpose, but yeah, when it comes to like the the meat and potato of it all, yeah. Um, when you're on the job, when you're on the yeah, job, and I think yeah, running running say. events or. Uh, Again, I've only been on a few uh, mm. film shoots. Yeah. Um, and never as a tech. I uh, think I've only been. And what? Sorry, and never. Never, never working on them. Just either oh, around right, right, them yeah. or as the talent. Yeah. Um, and so very few. So very few. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. But one especially actually that I uh, that I was on, I did this um, this info, uh, kind of informational. Uh, video about mm-hmm. Ramadan of all things. Oh yes, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I think I saw that one actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I liked it. It was it was awesome. cool. Yeah. Was it, mash and how, yeah, how that was, was that, that experience was for yourself? Because you, I guess it's um, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, yeah, he he's, he's locked and loaded um, already. No, yeah, I'm, just, part, I'm just curious. <laughs> like, the, what what I'm getting at is the yeah. the video production side to it. Yeah. Like seeing a behind the scenes approach to how a video crew would work. This one was yeah. This one was by far the most professional uh, crew that I ever seen. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, For the most part, um, we had seen not not so much actually necessarily. The most professional, rather the biggest production, um, the most in people terms of scale as part of the crew. Yeah, yeah. That's where, like, it might only be like seven or or ten people, you know, but mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Um, still, still more mm-hmm. than one person behind the camera or two yeah. people on set. Uh, it's a whole different experience. Seeing the yeah. organization and the problem solving. It's just the problem mm. solving. Oh, it's for just sure. the the pace of which, like, if someone presents a problem, you have to just 
have a solution mm. right now. There is no time yes. to dawdle. Correct. And yeah. um, I felt right at home. It felt yeah. like I was in a busy cafe or at a busy bar or at a busy event. And mm. it's just those, the, all of these worlds are just, yeah. there is no time. What You can you can stress and have self-doubt prior mm. to the shoot yeah. or prior to the job. <laughs> but once prior you're to on the there, shoot, once you're, you're going. On, you have oh. fucking got to go. Oh, for sure. Otherwise. So you enjoyed the fast paced Oh yeah, part of it. yeah. No, okay, that that's shit. interesting because I've I've worked with other people just just in general, and it, mm. it's one of those things where people either love that high energy of like yeah, let's go, let's do it, do it, do it, yeah. or other people are just like I can't deal with this, it's too much. Totally. So, that, and that's what I find with with everyone, like crew members, yeah. cast members. Just well, all, you all say members, you, so. you enjoy the 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 process of mm, doing exactly. these corporate gigs and stuff Correct, like that. Is yeah. that the side of things you think you like? Is the, just that that pace and that problem um, solving on set? Yeah, I think so. Because I used to, yeah, like, but I think the very, 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 very first thing I got paid to do with a camera was actually photographing a um, heavy metal nightclub in yeah. the city. All right. And, oh, and that was an experience because for me personally, I also love heavy metal music yeah. as well. So it was just. Yep. Um, We're right there with you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so Name we a band. Slipknot. Great. Slipknot's good. That's yeah. a band. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, my mind went to like early days, like Led oh, Zeppelin, but they're not, they're not metal. I mean, they're metal, oh, they're, they're not heavy. They're wrong, I'll give you, you a know, pass. Like, <laughs> uh, Queens of the Stone Age, is that that's pretty I hard think rock? so. It's hard rock. That's all right. Mm. Not anyway. Um, sorry, I forgot, forgot what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> okay. You were filming a heavy, yeah, you uh, filming a heavy metal yes, night. Correct, sorry. So, um, yeah, when I, <laughs> it was when I was first moving... <laughs> First moved to Melbourne actually because yeah. I also grew up in the countryside and then right. I moved to Melbourne. So right. um, I was studying it at uni, sorry, screen and media studies at uni, mm -hmm. and then I saw that this nightclub at the time it was called Apocalypse Hard Rock and Heavy Metal Nightclub. I don't great. know if they're still running anymore, but it's a great name. <laughs> That's <right>? so sick. <laughs> There's and no ambiguity there. You know, you know, what, you like, know what you're but into. What yeah. they, but what do they do? What do they? <laughs> what do they? <laughs> the, 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 the talk the about branding. Posted, like, <laughs> yeah. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. The side trance for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so so that was genuinely my very first time getting paid to right. operate a camera because they posted something like, oh, we're looking for a photographer to photograph our events. Mm -hmm. Like We didn't have a huge budget, but we're willing to pay. I think at the time I got paid around 120 bucks or so for three or four okay. hours, which right. I thought first time getting paid with a camera. I'm going to say yes. Plus That's better, drinks, than, the, better than most. If, you, if you're getting drinks mm. as well, there's better than most yeah. starting for, jobs. Yeah, for sure. And um, I, I just messaged them and said, hi, I'm studying it at uni. Here's mm -hmm. a few photos I've taken just for fun. And I shared some of, again, my, I guess my skateboard sort of grungy sort yep. of photography yeah, and okay. a bit of the videos. And I said, this might relate to like their brand, you know, mm -hmm, Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. It's heavy metal and skateboarding, I think. There's yep. certain themes there. <laughs> sure. Um, and I said, maybe we can kind of collaborate that, that was my way of thinking and they yeah. said yeah sure man like we love your work and and we're happy to give you an opportunity so i did i think four shoots for them mm -hmm. over about nine months or so yeah and all then live shows sorry all live shows yeah so yeah. It, it was a different sort of thing where it wasn't actually a live band it was actually a dj remixing heavy metal <laughs> track <laughs> oh that's what i did not expect that at all <laughs> So further clarification <laughs> was needed for this up. particular okay. venue. Okay. Well, I, I retract my uh, <laughs> statement before then. But, but that's actually what I was thinking going into it as well. Because for me, I love live music. Yeah. And I went into it yeah, I was I thinking, would, oh, there'd be a live When I hear band, heavy metal, I don't think all of DJ. And then when no. I went in there and I met with the team and I, I said to them, I said, where, where is the live, um, live band? Yeah. And I said, oh, what do you mean? I said, where's the live band? And I said, it's not, it's a DJ. And I was like, oh. And I said, are you still happy to photograph? I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, I'm, I'm happy to do <laughs> yeah, the that's, <laughs> that's a bit easier then, I think. Yeah, like but, but it was a funny one where it was easier, I guess, because as a photographer, you can be more mobile and you can walk so around. Yeah. And you want person, you like my whole job was <laughs> yeah. to go up to people and just say, oh, hey, oh, mate, okay, how's yeah. your day going? You want a photo for the Facebook? And I go, yeah, sure. Yeah, man. yeah. So you, you get very quick at overcoming i guess social anxiety and all of mm -hmm. that sort of stuff as well because mm -hmm. i'd have to go up to everyone in the club yeah like everyone yeah management everything yeah. bartenders and just go do you want a photo and they go what for i'm like for the facebook yeah. oh yeah yeah of course yeah man yeah yeah i love that so they're skeptical as soon as you say facebook yeah yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah fair enough the but facebook, the facebook. Yeah. just because I, I had a lanyard with oh, a okay, little well, tag so yeah, it wasn't just some random dude with a photographer yeah yeah <laughs> but um yeah it was, it was interesting first experience yeah. and um yeah, I don't think, unfortunately, 
for my, I guess, my fellow heavy metal enthusiasts, yeah. the club's not running anymore, I believe. I'm but not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised either. <laughs> I but don't <laughs> there is that. a part of me that's like, damn. Yeah, but, would, <laughs> but, but yeah, I like, think most heavy metal fans are going to want live music. Right, they're gonna maybe true, maybe maybe a, maybe a DJ towards the tail end of like okay, yeah it was we're all uh, the up. band's done two hours whatever let's finish yeah, yeah. off with yeah because it, it was a mix of like certain um, time periods as well mm -hmm. so it was more I guess not so much the old school heavy metal because mm -hmm. I I grew up a lot on um the old school like Iron Maiden Black Sabbath yeah a lot of that because my dad's a cool. musician is a drummer so I grew cool. up with a lot of that sort of music yeah. in the house I don't feel as bad for my Led Zeppelin answer that's <laughs> <laughs> no, fine Led Zeppelin's great <laughs> yeah um, but they were doing a lot more new age like 2000s plus yeah, like okay. the new new age metal of the yeah kind of what I'm into now like Parkway Drive yep. Kill Switch Engage more of the <laughs> like yep. the screamo sort of stuff yep. which I guess not for everyone but Oh, oh, it was it. an interesting experience, nonetheless. I love Parkway Drive. They're so funny. Oh, you did? No, oh, no I, I, I know. Them, like they're, they're, they're the ones from Byron Bay, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. They, they're, I, no, <laughs> I had a friend that loved that likes it. Well, I, it's someone yeah. I knew from Tassie, and mm. they showed me a picture of Parkway Drive, and I'm yeah. like, they do not look like what no. they sound like. No, no they and definitely don't. Like jean shorts and just. Yeah. I'm like, these guys are mm. beach. So These are the heavy metal Beach Boys. So that's like, that's yeah. pretty much. It's, I was loving. It. I'm, yeah. what I'm they because they they I've watched a documentary on them. They grew up um, obviously in Byron Bay, but then they they learnt uh, not learnt. Sorry, it was the wrong word. Um, they <coughs> excuse me. They they started playing in the Byron Bay um, Youth Centre oh, there, okay. and their whole kind of origin story was that they were just heavier than every other band. Like they were, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they won't mind me saying this if they come across this, but. Essentially, <laughs> they... Hello, Parkway Drive. Hi, Parkway Drive. Hi, Winston. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, like, that's the, their whole origin story is, mm. like, they would listen to a lot of other bands and yeah. they would be like, oh, we can do it heavier, we can do it heavier, we can right, do it heavier, right, we right. can do it heavier. And that was their appeal. Yeah. Um, like, I don't... Disclosure, I don't know them personally. I'm just a big yeah. fan. <laughs> <But> <laughs> sorry, Winston. Yeah, sorry, um, Winston, but... Jackson send me a message <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah I, was, I don't know um, yeah I just yeah, I just yeah. remember my friend who didn't like I would not expect him to like Parkway Drive and I'm like I didn't enjoy it that much and he's mm. like here's what it looked like I'm like no that's I was like I generally thought he was joking yeah. mm. and then I was like no look at you'd look be at surprised them. who enjoys it like, yeah, did you I guys just, years ago watch um the Big Les show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Because <laughs> that's how I actually heard about it originally. Oh, right. <laughs> and for me, I was like, at the time, I was like, oh, this is too intense. Yeah. And then after a while, I was like, they kind of sound cool. Oh, yeah. Who are these bands? Yeah. Oh, Parkway. Oh, they're Australian. Oh, okay. And then I, I, I kind of yeah. kept going down the rabbit hole. I had more of a, like, I had oh. more of like an emo phase of like a uh, big Mike M fan. That mm. was, that was my. That's right. Oh, um, Mike Mike. Romance. <laughs> yeah. 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 I um, I'm getting to my emo phase now, I think. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 33. Get it. You got a lot to be pissed off about. Oh, you know, no, nah, I don't. I'm living the dream, you know. Yeah. You know, nightmares, the dreams. <laughs> You want a Parkway tattoo? Or? No, no. no. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could not name one Parkway job. So. No. Um, reverse parallel? I don't know. Parkway. Reverse, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. reverse yeah. parallel. Yeah. Park. I sh I, every time I make jokes like that, I re-listen to it and I yeah. hate myself. Right. I don't hate yourself. I, uh, just in that moment, because uh, yeah. I'm like, these are, and I, I realize how unfunny they are when I re-listen to it. I think um, I think they're fantastic. If you you, I would deliver them harder and uh, yeah, just own almost it, trying <laughs> to piss people off. I'm like, I know this is terrible. <laughs> I'm here to annoy you. No, but you. I don't think they're terrible when I say it, and then I listen to it. Like, nah. like that was no. Like, well, I can't on. wait for your type five <laughs> in a week or so. <laughs> oh yeah, it didn't come down there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. That's all good. Yeah, funny mm -hmm. for a part. Yeah. It's right there. Uh, anyway, it's not about us. It's not about us right now. <laughs> no, I mean, it's our podcast, but um, um. <laughs> <laughs> sassy. I'm trying to think of a segue. I haven't got a segue. Where the, where the fuck were we? We were at the. Sorry, we're talking about music. The, heavy we were at the metal, metal club. That was your first paid job. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't got a segue. That's all right. Um, what what did you? <laughs> well, what did you learn from doing that first that yeah. first job? Um, it sounds. Kind of cliche, but just genuinely being nice to other people mm -hmm. and not judging based on appearance sure. <laughs> yeah. is, a, is a big thing. Because after, and this is all a true story, like after that first photography thing, mm. I then went on and I, I tried to use that experience and I contacted a few other nightclubs and mm. I said, hey, I've worked for Apocalypse. Here's yeah. some of my photography. Do, do you guys need photographers as well? Yeah. 
And then some of them would say, oh, no, Jack, we're not of that vibe or we're not of this or this, mm -hmm. um, but thanks for contacting us. And then there was one other club that I, I did do some work for, mm -hmm. but for me it was almost the complete opposite mm -hmm. vibe in the sense that it felt – and I understand there's a club culture and for me I'm not just much of a clubber. Yeah. But it was more of um, like the, the sleazy sort of – yeah, 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 of yeah. like, oh, just get photos of this and this and this, and that will sell better than this. And I'll sure. go, yeah. And I was oh, like, yeah. man, yeah. like, I said, I'm here because I'm genuinely trying to improve my photography experience. I'm yeah. trying to learn my craft. I'm studying it at uni. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm not interested in in all that other stuff. Yeah, like that was just for me personally. And then like, oh well, if you're not wanting to shoot the way we want you to shoot, then we'll get another photographer. Yeah, and that's what they would say to me. So I was yeah. like, all right, well. You go your way, I'll go my way, man. Yeah. How hard feelings. But that's how I guess I transitioned from that. Mm. So I think if you're doing like, if you're doing, because like, yeah, do, doing paid work, mm. um, that if you didn't have, you know, we want to, we want to get paid for the work we do. Of course. Yeah. And so there are certain jobs that we, that we do that, yeah, if we were living off, um, just, family money or some shit <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we've yeah. won the lottery or some shit we of probably course. wouldn't do these jobs right yeah we would do something else um but it's great to find the ones that do allow you to learn mm. within those jobs exactly yeah um and i've definitely yeah I, I, i've seen kind of job opportunities in like sound and stuff like that mm -hmm. um that i kind of look at and think it's just going to be so goddamn tedious even if it does pay, I'll be so bored. Yeah. I Whereas see yeah. there's certain jobs where it's like, oh, that's not my style. But if I do that, my vocal production is going to be so much better. Thanks mm. to doing that kind of gig. Like, yeah, yeah if I do I like see. even just genre, even just within genre, like mm -hmm. if you yeah mixing like kind of pop material versus mm. yeah hip hop or grunge yeah, or something yeah, like that, yeah. and then but you take the things that you learn from that genre and then mm -hmm. you bring it over. Like yeah, yeah cool. That was worth getting paid for, and I also learned a bunch of skills. Yes, rather yeah. than just monotony, know, monotony editing mm. like really boring podcasts or something like that. No, I, I get exactly what Good you mean. Good thing I edit this. Though. No, I, well, I refuse to edit this. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> I refuse enough. to edit podcasts. Fair enough. <laughs> but you're right in what you're saying, though, because like I guess it, to relate it to to video, it's yeah. the same with me. Like I've I've worked in multiple different contexts, multiple different um, industries, mm. like a lot of different industries, and it's the same like i keep talking about the process but it's the same process every time but yeah. you learn something new on each job or each gig or each project yeah um because some projects will i guess even professionally will give me a lot more flexibility with oh jack we trust you what's the creative vision for this mm -hmm. what's yeah. this mm -hmm. this this and then other times like i'll work directly with um some larger companies which have a dedicated marketing manager right. and then they I don't want to say they dictate the terms, but they mm -hmm. more so just send you a brief and steer they say, it towards exactly steer very, it towards yeah. mm -hmm. their company because ultimately I am creating it for them as well because they're yeah. the ones paying me. <laughs> yeah. So they'll send me like a yeah a brief, I suppose, and then that'll be like it has to be say within this criteria. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a a tight sort of recipe in in yeah. a way, and then for me that the. the the creative part is trying to work with actually within those constraints. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's actually a big part of where true creativity creativity comes from. Oh, for sure. It's because point, actually, otherwise yeah. it's it's just kind of endless with it's like, the blank oh, page. It's, way, it's, it's like, oh, what can I do? And mm. then, yeah. Exactly, like looking at a blank page. Yeah. Like cuz writer's block, etc. like I've I've suffered from that myself mm -hmm. with writing short film scripts yeah. or different yeah. even like blog content. Just mm -hmm. lots of different things. Like if you're just looking at a Word document for six hours a day, you're like, oh, what am I, what's the masterpiece I'm going to write today? Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. But for me, I'll, I'll just write, 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 write something yeah. and then I'll look back through it and I'll go, oh, I definitely don't want to include this or yeah. no, maybe this part well, I was a bit too tired when I wrote this or maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever and, and then I'll tweak it and then I'll publish it myself. Mm. But it's it's almost like a muscle, like muscle memory or um, I think it's a big mental game too honestly is to just overcoming perfectionism of course because there's a there's a friend of mine that i work very closely with and um she tells me that her her, her expression is um she's a recovering perfectionist mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and for me that's very relevant as well yeah i think with creatives we we've tend to be very perfectionistic of like oh this isn't exactly how i want it or this sure. isn't oh it's almost like it's 80 percent there but it's not uh, 
Yeah. Forgetting that 80% is a very good. Yeah, which is exactly goal. like Sorry, 80% is still anything, awesome. So, <laughs> so, far, you know. yeah. For sure. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of my yeah. thoughts on it, I guess. Um, it's a great place to learn that is from mm. doing paid work or yeah. no, even even not through paid work uh, for us, but like um, just doing Vibe Union stuff. Like, mm-hmm. At least there's a deadline. There's yes. a gig coming up, you have to do the thing. And when the gig is running, you're doing the thing. Yeah, yeah, and for that sure. mentality yeah. has, yeah. And does the deadlines help yourself? Oh, fuck to, yeah. To, to, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. I set with my own creative projects, I, mm. I generally try and set a deadline. Mm. Once, I'm, mm. yeah, once I'm kind of, once I'm at the 60% mark, yeah. and I can see the 80% mark kind of creeping out. Okay, okay. I'm releasing on this day. I'm yes, doing this. Yeah. This goes out on this day. I, I'm the same with a, it's cr- like professionally, I have certain deadlines yeah. to meet. But then obviously on the creative side as well, I will still set myself a deadline of, yeah. say, for example, I might say one month from now I want to have a, a film script written. Yeah. And I'll just have to allocate time and then go write yeah. it so it's done. Yeah. Because I know myself as well. Like if I just think to myself like, oh, I want to write a script on this, 12 months later, 24 months later, I'll go, <laughs> what was that idea? Again? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. So I should yeah. take that. Um, <laughs> or even just yeah. writing a pen and paper. Yeah. I write a lot of things written. I just yeah. deadlines are... I'll, I'll set you some deadlines. Everyone's got their own process. process. <laughs> Try and have new material every single every single. Oh, I get. St- I don't know. Just my. I, I, all of a sudden, I'll, I'll do something in two days and get it done, and then sometimes it'll be mm. two months, and I'm like, eh. yeah. But like I said, like funny for a poet, just for example. Yeah, I have, I'll have to have something sorted and done. Yeah, mm. I mean, it's all chaos now, but it, something yeah. will be done. Mm. Something will happen. Yeah, within a five minute limit. Something yeah. will happen. Yeah, something, you know. Um, I hate to wrap it up, but that's I got a... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're abandoning us tonight. I'm abandoning yeah. I'm going to go see um, Ricky Lee Jones at, um, at the... Not of Australian Idol. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know who... who Ricky. No, she's, she's a famous singer from like the 70s or some shit. Yeah. Ah, I see. Very good. Very cool. um, thank you so much for coming on. Music by Sixpence. Music is by Sixpence. Um, thank, you, six thank you, Jack. I will try to remember... To put your links, I will. In the I will remind you. you. Links See, that, are in the description. That, that's <laughs> what I, I do. I do that stuff. If you need video work, look in the description, and you'll, the you'll description. find. Yeah. In. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Leave and us. Thank you, sir. Leave us now. <laughs> <All right. Bye. laughs>